So we've got a five kilogram object near Earth's surface that's released from rest, such that it falls a distance of 10 meters. After the object falls 10 meters, it has a speed of 12 meters per second. Which of the following correctly identifies whether the object Earth system is open or closed and describes the net external force? So looking at this, when we're told uh, an initial condition in the system, we've got this 5 kilogram object, it's going to be this ball, and it's released from rest. So the initial velocity equals zero. And then later on, we're told that after it falls 10 meters down, it has a speed of 12 meters per second. From this information, we can definitely figure out whether the system is open or closed. Because what we can do is look at the initial energy in the system and the final energy in the system. I'm going to set uh, position as y equals 0 right there at that final location. And then, if this is the final velocity, let me figure out the energy in the beginning and the energy at the end. Because essentially what we're going to do is take a look at the conservation of energy. And if it turns out if the total energy in the beginning of the system is different than the energy at the end, then there must have been some external force that did work to change this system. If the energies in the initial condition and the final condition are the same, then we have a closed system and there is no net work done. So let's see. In the beginning, I've got gravitational potential energy, and that is mgy. That is equal to 5 kilograms, the mass of the object, times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, times this height of 10 meters. So 5 times 9.8 times 10 gives me an initial energy of 490 joules. In the end condition, I've got kinetic energy. And that'd be 0.5, one half, times the mass five, times the final velocity, 12 squared, gives me 360 joules for my final energy. Well, uh, I've got a problem, because and with this M I plugged in 5 kilograms, and with this V final I plugged in 12 meters per second. If I've got a problem, that means there is a, definitely something that's taking energy away. Probably air resistance, probably some external force slowing this down, doing negative work on this system as it falls this amount, because this system is open and the net external force is non-zero. That's the only way that we could get a total energy at the end that's different than the total energy at the beginning. Another way to approach this problem is to figure out the speed that the object would have if there was no air resistance. Uh, and then you find that the speed of the object, if it were just dropped from rest with no outside force, should be 14 meters per second meaning that this object's moving a little slower than it should be moving if there were no outside forces, so there has to be an outside force.